all right the beta for the jojo all-star battle r demo is now over it is time to try out jojo's bizarre adventure eyes of heaven now this is one of my most requested videos i'll put it on the screen here if i can find it but i remember i did a poll a long time ago what game do you guys want me to play the most and the number one game on that poll was jojo eyes of heaven and today is going to be my first time playing this game if i'm correct how eyes of heaven works is that this is the jojo version with over heaven dio and all that this is basically jojo part three if dio wins it ends up beating jojo and it goes on to pursue heaven so yeah hit the sub button like this video if you guys want me to do a story series where i play the story mode of this game make sure you guys hit the like button and let me know down below without further ado let's go ahead and get started this is jojo's bizarre adventure eyes of heaven all right this is gonna be my first time playing this game i'm a little nervous i'm not gonna lie but eh, i doubt it'll be that hard to play i mean this game doesn't have command input so this is way easier than all-star battle r this game is like storm 4 or hinokami where you can pretty much just mash one button to do combos and stuff jojo no kimi all right Okay. creating a data like i said i have never played this game before so it's making new data and stuff all right mode select so story free battle network customize gallery shop blah 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 uh i'm gonna do story in story mode you can play through the story of jojo's bizarre adventure eyes of heaven completing the story unlock different content you can also use jojo points to earn in the story to purchase various items in the shop okay uh i'm gonna play through the story for this video i mean i could do free battle and go online and do all that stuff but uh, I don't even know how to fight in this game or even how to play it. So the best thing we should probably do is just play through the story. So let's do that. All right. Uh, new game. I don't know where on part three they're going to start me off at, but I assume it's Jodoro versus Dio fight is where they're going to start me. I think. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Chapter one, Stardust Crusaders. Oh, okay. Look at that boy Jodoro in the voice lines. All right. Bet, bet, bet. Let's see where they start me out. Tyra, Egypt, 1988. After a long journey, Jotaro. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you do start where you meet Dio. Okay. Finally, when Jotaro and Dio were the only ones left standing, Dio used Joseph's blood to power himself up. This is pretty cool. I like how they do this, like, comic sequence thing. Oh, that was a cool transition. Feels so good. <laughs> oh, my God. Basically, uh, this is from part three where uh, Dio stopped time. Since I was <laughs> Boy, I'm actually pretty excited to play this game. <laughs> the greatest high. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. I mean, we know he's not gonna kill Dio here. I mean, he's not gonna kill Jodo here, but. If I, if I remember correctly in the show, this is where the turning point happens, after he uses Rotor Roller right here. I'm gonna fight? Oh, okay. It's exactly how I thought. They're gonna start you off right here where you're fighting Dio. On this battle detail screen, you can view information, blah, 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 victory conditions. All right. Um, press triangle to see battle details and proceed to character selection screen. Characters you're allowed to use in battle based on different progressions through the story. All right. Press square on the battle details to move to your item support selection screen. All right. So the battle conditions are get KO'd, uh, retire my opponent. All right. Let's go ahead and start, I guess. Jotaro Kujo versus... Oh, I don't feel like reading all of this. I'm not gonna lie. Bro, that's not a lot to read. Hey, bro, I'm not gonna lie, I've played Storm. I don't care, I'm about to skip this. <laughs> we don't have time for that stuff. Time for the final strike, it's the absolute final time freeze. All right, let's see how to fight in this game. All right. Okay, I can just mash uh, square to do a combo. All right. Uh, controls seem pretty simple, you can jump around like that. Uh, I don't know what circle does, but do what a circle do. Oh my god. I don't know what that bar is at the top left with the L1. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's how you use skills. Okay, I see, I see, I see. What's interesting enough is that I have to use the stick to fight in this game. But we should be good. How much HP does Dio have? Oh, he's not really low, but he's on his last HP bar. What does this skill do? Oh, this is how I block. Okay, so it's R2 to block. What the hell? Did he just counter me? What does R1 do? Okay, R1 doesn't do anything. Uh, L2. Oh, L2 is to dash. Okay, I see. Oh, I can counter him like that. I think that's like an evasive or something. All right, the controls seem pretty simple. It's nothing crazy. Especially compared to JoJo uh, All-Star Battle R. It's definitely way simpler. All right, let's go ahead and finish him off. There we go. He's dead. Retired. All I did was mash square, but hey, whatever. All right, so if I'm correct, he's going to use Road Roller here. 
and then I think I end up losing to the Road Roller, and that's how the story of this game works. Let's see. Being the living crap out of you and finishing you off here would only leave a bad aftertaste in my soul. Ooh. And yet, being the living crap out of you and finishing you off here would only leave a bad aftertaste in my heart. How many seconds until your leg heals? Three? Four? Once it heals, I'm gonna six star platinum on you and so bring it on. Or if I was a gunslinger from the old western, I'd say. Draw. Let's see who's the faster one. How dare you make a fool out of me. Jotaro, even though you've made it through this far, you still a mute human. You think like a human does. A human only lives for a blink of an eye. Worrying about stupid things like bad aftertaste and living a life with no regrets. The way you think is stupid as rat shit smeared all over a toilet. And now I'm going to beat the death out of you. Alright, bet. Ideal possesses none of that. All I have is one simple principle. Just one. Win and seize control, that's it. That alone is my satisfaction. Alright, let's see what happens now. The process, the method. You think I care about that? Oh my god. I blinded you with blood. Victory is mine, now die. Ooh. Punch the crap out of that boy's leg. No road roller? Damn. Wait, so how does this game work? Or how does the story in this game work? He just loses here? Alright. There's only one reason you lost, Dio. Just one simple reason. And what is that? You pissed me off. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I should have expected that. I honestly should have expected that voice line. Total defeat. R.I.P. Dio. All right. Uh, okay. I guess that's not how the game works. So how does the over heaven Dio stuff come? Iggy. Abdo. All dead. Dio overcome the noble sacrifice of his allies and defeated Dio, his fated enemy. Exposed of the morning sun, Dio's body soon turned to dust and disappeared. I can actually play through the entire story of this game for videos, but if we get 7k likes, I'll continue. Oh, I didn't even get to read that dialogue afterwards. Oh, is that Dio's diary? Oh, he's burning it. Alright, what I need, my stand. Mm-hmm. A friend I can trust. Oh. Alright. The soul that at least 36 people have committed ultimate sins. The 14 phrases. Courage. By the decaying stand will gather up the souls of 36 sinners, absorb them, and then give birth to something new. The last thing I need is a place over heaven. Latitude 28 degrees, 24 north. <laughs> Latitude 80, 36 west. <laughs> Wait for the next new moon. Okay. The time of heaven. Dojo's Bizarre Adventure, Eyes of Heaven. That was a cool prologue. I'm actually so excited to play this game. Holy crap, okay. Jotaro, oh, Jotaro, there you are. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. Hmm, interesting. Alright, so let's see, what are we doing now? Those diaries right there just burnt. Alright, what happens now? I don't know what happens now. Because I know for a fact it doesn't go to part four. Jotaro <laughs> Kujo and your star platinum. Wait, what the hell? I don't know our vote power, but we still don't match for our stands. Wait, what? Isn't this Avdol and Kakiyomi? I guess they're just getting possessed. And Iggy! Damn! Okay. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so I guess how this game works is that I think the people that we've defeated are getting possessed, or people that have died. 
Passengers for flight number 92 to Paris should proceed quickly to gate 18. Why go back to France, Jean? They don't need me, don't hesitate to call. Alright, we'll miss you. I'm trying to go through this dialogue as fast as possible because I'm trying to get as much gameplay in this video as possible. I apologize if this video is boring. Well, I know it's not boring if there's a lot of like story stuff and not that much fighting. But uh, I'm pretty sure you guys don't mind seeing this. We'll meet again. Unless you've had enough of me, you blasted fool. Couldn't forget a character like you, even if you wanted. Later. Alright, so I guess we do go to part four. Wow. I thought we weren't, but I guess we will. There they are at last. What the hell? Huh? Hmm? That makes sense. Kind of makes me want to laugh. You're both so buff. At first glance, you're both descendants of Mr. Joestar. Friend of yours, Ramps. No, I don't know who he is. Correct, I'm a Joestar. Who might you be? Please, excuse me. I'm... What the hell? Oh, I guess this is where the story changes. Oh, he probably sees Abdul and... Not the slightest goddamn idea. I don't know what's happening. Enemies, they're coming for us. Oh, yeah, they're possessed. Okay. <laughs> they're all possessed. Tongue? What? Because they're supposed to be dead. So we gotta fight right here and now. Alright, bet. Thought you were both dead. What in the hell? I don't know what's going on, but we can't fight here. There's too many innocent people. Okay, I was about to say, there's nowhere we're just gonna fight right here in the middle of the airport. Not that they've already caught up with me. Clock is ticking, I need to hurry. Honestly, I don't know how far we're gonna get this video, but this video is probably gonna be like uh, about 30 minutes or so. Depending on how I trim out and cut stuff out, I don't know, we'll see. I might not cut stuff out, I might cut some stuff out, we'll see. I don't really want to because I want you guys to get the full story, but whatever. We'll see. Give me a break, what's going on? No clue. I tried to get on the plane for Paris. They suddenly appeared and came at me. All right. Well, they caught up to us. Time for a battle. Fools who dare to bring home to the noble one. I, Muhammad Abdul, will burn every last piece of you. All right. The noble one. If you guys have any video ideas, or if you guys don't want to see me do the story, or if you guys want me to play online or something, just let me know down below in the comment section. I might do a couple separate videos where I just play online, but we'll see. Depends on what you guys want to see. If you guys don't have any video ideas for this game, just let me know. Be sure to check their ability trees to unlock other abilities and skills. Okay. Okay, so I only have three characters. Uh, I want to play as old Joseph. I mean, just for fun. I don't want to play as Jodoro again. Mutual trust level? What the hell is that? I don't know what any of that stuff is, but I don't want to play as Jodoro again. Alright, so all we have to do is knock out Avdol and Iggy, so this should be pretty simple. Alright, let's see. Alright. Uh, well, it's pretty cool how you just run around the map. Um, where'd he go? What does this box do? Oh, I can set a trap? Oh, wow, okay. I can set a trap. T plus triangle. There we go, the trap set. There we go. Damn! Did he fall? He almost did. Oh my god, Iggy is so damn tiny. It's hard to hit Iggy because he's so small. There we go. That boy got electrocuted. Where's Iggy at? Bro, it's so hard to hit Iggy because he's tiny, dog. I'm just going to take care of Abdol first, probably. Because Iggy is too damn tiny for me to even hit. There we go. Uh, Iggy's hitting me in the damn back, though. That's the only problem. Oh, he fell. Poor guy. Doesn't really look like he's taking that much damage. Uh, there we go. Punch him, stun him again. Man, okay, he fell off the map again. Oh my god, he keeps falling. Because after he falls off the map, he spawns up here. Oh, he's right there. He's one shot. We finish him off. Alright, there we go. And Abdul is dead. Alright, Abdul's retired. Now all we gotta do is take care of Iggy. Alright. There we go. Big damage. And he fell off the map. That doesn't kill him, though. He's low HP, though. Uh, oh my god. I don't know how to do like air combos and stuff in this game. Or if there even is other variants of combos. I have no idea how. I'll probably play a little bit off camera in the free play mode so I can get a better feel of the controls and like what buttons do and stuff. So I don't have to keep mashing a uh, square. 
There we go, and Iggy is dead. I will say this, the combat in this game feels way clunkier compared to All-Star Battle R. But that's just because, mm, I don't know, it's just, All-Star Battle R is more like your classic fighter game. Or, uh, FGC game, if that makes any sense. Alright, those two are done. Now, let's do one more battle, and then after that, we're gonna wrap up the video. Alright, uh, so what happens to them now? Do they just die, or... Do they just fade into dust, or what happens now? Gramps. Mm-hmm. Time around to Hammer Purple, yes, sir. Or, what's gonna happen to them? Bruce is just gonna fade into dust or some crap. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. There's no way they're just gonna sit there with their corpse bodies like that, just unpossessed. No way. Yeah, they just disappeared into the light. All right, so uh, obviously things are not normal anymore. They are who they appeared to be, Mr. Joestar. Fought them both. So I'm sure of it. They were the rear Avdon Iggy. They're just their bodies that are possessed. Sir, there's no way that could be. And who's this? Oh, they're watching us. Who's the guy to the right? I'm impressed. There aren't many who could fight off those two. We know that's Kaki Oin. Who's the guy to the left again? Oh, this is that guy that uh, Jotaro beat the crap out of, if I remember correctly. Are you surprised? Just the same as Abdo and Iggy. We both swore our allegiance to the noble one, which means we must destroy you. I don't want you get in the way this time. Her will make you cop up everything. Alright, so now we gotta fight those two, if I'm correct. Yeah, we do. Okay, after this battle, I'll probably wrap up the video. Um, my thoughts so far is that the game is pretty fun to play, but I, I definitely gotta understand the combat more, because I don't know how to do, like, a lot of stuff. So I'll probably play some free play mode off camera, just to, like, get a gist of the controls and how to fight and stuff in this game. Alright, let's go. Let's hurry up and try and wrap this up, because the video is almost at 30 minutes. Oh my god, what the hell? I fell already! I can grab this. What can I do with it when I grab it? I can throw it, I think. There we go. I threw it at him. Oh, I missed. Wow. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice. Big damage. I'm just going to focus this guy. And then I'll take care of uh, Kakuyoin later. All right. Let's take care of this guy. And after that, all we have to do is take care of Kakuyoin. Uh, he's almost low. I got to wait for him to get up. I can't attack him when he's on the floor. There we go. And he's dead. I'll get them for this. What are those three little thingies next to my uh, picture do? Uh, you see that little purple orb and the green two orbs? I don't know what those do. I don't know how to combat in this game works, like, literally at all. I'm stuck standing still. What the hell? Let's take care of this dude. Come on. Where'd he go? He fell off the map. There we go. I locked onto him. All right, let's dash at him. There we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he's off the map. Right, where is he at now? He's over there. Up over here. Oh, I fell. <laughs> oh man. L1 plus R1 to do a dual heart attack. What the hell am I doing? I'm literally trolling. Let's try this dual heart attack. There we go. Ooh. Oh, it's like a little combo attack thingy. What? <laughs> oh. Give me a break. Just kidding. There we go. How much damage is he gonna do? That's cool. It's like a little combo attack thingy. That did big damage, too. Damn. Alright, he's back there. Oh, I can stop time now. Oh, my God. I keep falling off the damn map. Alright, there you go. I time stopped. Alright, so I guess that's how that UI works at the top left. Uh, it just, like, it's the next skill that's in order. And that's why I was able to stop time there. There we go. This guy's almost dead. There we go. More combo. What the hell? Do you use some evasive or something? What is that? Alright. It's pretty much done here. He's just running away, bruh. All right, there we go. And he's dead. All right, that was pretty easy. All right, there we go. Never imagine a long distance stand duo could be this dangerous. <laughs> Overall, the combat in this game looks pretty simple. It's just that I just got to understand how, like, uh, the combat works. It looks simple, but I don't know what some of these buttons do and uh, what some of these systems do, like the little orbs that are flashing at the bottom left. All right, uh, let's hurry up and wrap this up, and then we're gonna end the video. I just want to see what the next fight is, and then after that, we're gonna wrap it up. So my, I swear to devote my life to Noble, and I can't let myself die yet. But I'll step down for now. Farewell, Joe Stars. Damn, they got away. Not quite a cock cock All right, all right, spit it out. How's this? How does? Who, who the hell's your leader? Hold it. What the hell? Another person? Not another one? Who the hell are you? You got met at the airport. Oh, this is a problem your powers can't solve. Just leave it to me. What? With the power of the holy corpse, I'll bring my friend back to normal. 
What's that Shit. now? Holy corpse. There we go, he's healed. And Kakyoin is back alive. Where am I? I think I'm to your senses now, Kakyoin. I remember now, Dio. Dio's ability. I figured out what his ability is. Oh yeah, that's when he got donutted. <laughs> that old deal is over now. Or, so they think. Who are you? How do you know my name? What did you do to Kaku and what the hell's going on? Hold it, you need to calm down. Bro, explain already! Sorry, it's taking me so long to introduce myself. Speedwagon! Welcome to the Speedwagon Foundation. I got it, you're an amateur common. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god. I can't believe it, but I remember now. It really is him. You look just like that photo I saw of Speedwagon when he was young. You see me before? Good. That should make things quicker. This is the part of the Holy Corpse. A Holy Corpse? Put it simply, it's a mummified dead body of the great man who died very long time ago. The Holy Corpse has guided me through the plethora of different eras of history. As we speak, our world is falling into a truly phenomenal crisis, which given birth to all kinds of anomalies. Anomalies. Oops. It's like what happened here with Kakyoin. He's supposed to be dead, but he's alive. You know, looking back to life because of anomalies? Yes. Memory cuts off at the point where Dio attacked me and I was flung into a water tank. Alright, this video is getting pretty long. Hopefully I can wrap this up here. If they'll let me. Oh, I can skip this if I want to. Eh, I don't want to. Who's the one you were talking about before? Stands to the crisis of the speed wagon mentioned. I don't know and I can't remember anything at all. What's this request of yours? What does he want you to do? Give it to you, sir. I want you to help me gather the Holy Corpse parts. Oh god, that's gonna take a while. Nine Holy Corpse parts in total. So that's our goal of the game. To possess bizarre powers. To collect other parts, we can build them into full corpse and unleash its true power. Then we'll be able to fix anomalies and avert the crisis. At least we think. You think? What do you mean you think? Truth be told, I don't really know myself. Since I came to possess the corpse, I've been hearing voices whispering in my ear, and that's what led me here. Alright, this is getting too long. I'm gonna have to wrap it up here. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. If you guys have any video ideas for what I should do for Eyes of Heaven, or if you guys want me to just chill, relax, and just watch me play this story, just let me know down below in the comment section. But, uh, yeah. This video is pretty fun to do. I'll see you guys later for the next video of Eyes of Heaven. Take care, guys.